Hi hey, everyone. Hey everyone. How are Good you? Good morning. How are you? How are you doing, Saha? I'm all right. How are you, Sophia? I'm okay, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> Um, I was hoping to go in the balcony now, but pigeons. I, yeah, I think it is better if you stay in your living room where there are no <laughs> no pigeons to yeah. attack you. Exactly. Um, so, good morning. Please um, introduce yourself to us. Tell us your name. Tell us um, where you are. Tell us which city you are from or wh where you are from. Shall we do some introductions, Saha? Of course. So my name is Sahar. I am a teacher at Mayas Bologna, like Sofia, we're colleagues. Um, I was born in California, but originally I'm Iranian from Iran because we also have Ira Californian Iranians. It's, <laughs> it's a species all by itself. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that sounds like such a contradiction, <laughs> Californian Iranians. I know, I know, it's just it's, it's my cousins. <laughs> um, I've lived in Italy for 15 years and uh, I am so happy that today is Friday because tomorrow is pizza day and I've been waiting for that day since Monday. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> when you say pizza day, uh, do you make the pizza or do you buy the pizza? And the, we found a nice place that makes very good pizza. So we're just like kind of ordering from that, even okay, though yeah, fine. we have all the ingredients. To uh, make yeah, but I mean, well. it's, <laughs> pizza is so much nicer when somebody else makes it for you. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, hi, Veronica. Nice to see you. I'm Veronica. I live in Greve in Chianti. Um, the wine? And... I'm originally from New Delhi. Fantastic. Nice, uh, Veronica. It's nice to see you. Nice um, to see you. My name is Sophia. I am Sahar's colleague. We work together at my English school, Bologna Mille. Uh, I was born in London and now I live in Bologna. I have lived in Bologna for almost five years. Um, and before living in Bologna, I lived in Greece for five years because my family is Greek. Um, Veronica says, it is pizza day for me too. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, yeah. And the best thing is that I can pre-order. So I'm, I already, I even know the pizzas. I've been thinking about what kind of topping I want. Yes, wine and B&B, &B. a lot of wine, <laughs> fantastic. Um, I think for me, pizza day might be maybe on Saturday, um, but I order pizzas as well. Mm -hmm. I have never bought a tea, pizza at the supermarket. They're also good. Like if you go oh, to the really? cop, yeah. I actually like they're. I, I can't. I couldn't believe it myself. But my flatmate used to buy them a lot from the supermarket, and the I was like, "Wow, yeah, yeah. I was like wow, it's actually okay. good." All right, I should try it maybe sometime. Mm -hmm. It's a lot cheaper than buying it from the from you know ordering it. Yeah. Hi, morning. I live in Cagliari. My home city is Montevideo in Uruguay. Wow, fantastic. We've got wow. such a we've got a really lovely multi multicultural lesson here. We've got Iran, we've got Greece, we have New Delhi. Oh, yeah, Uruguay. This is fantastic, guys. Fantastic. I love this. Um I have a corp here in Grove. Yes, I also have a corp next to my house. In fact, it's my supermarket in this period. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, maybe I will try one of the frozen pizzas. Do you have a particular topping to recommend? Um, I usually just I get the margarita and my my dad actually gets the margarita and then he chooses the topping. Mm. And then when he puts it in the oven to, you know, defrost it. Um, the he topics. cooks, yeah, yeah, cook things. That's a good idea. That way, you mm. ascend. It's like you make your own pizza. Um, all right, guys. So, uh, to start with, please introduce yourself and find for us your favorite object in your house and describe it for us. Mm. Is it my impression, or is that banner a strange color? Yes, it's isn't like it more a, blue than normal? It's like it looks a kind of a purple, uh, purple blue. <laughs> a blue have, purple. 
Yeah, someone must have changed it because that's not our normal color. Yeah. Hmm. Someone has changed. Has been playing with the colors. So yeah, tell us、um, what is your favorite object in your house. Describe it for us. So I'll start with an example.、Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Veronica's got it already. <laughs> <laughs> True. Wonderful.、Um, what、um, What is your bed like, Veronica? Is it a double bed, a single bed? Does it?、Um, do you have lots of decorative cushions and things?、Um, Or is it just us- comfortable and you love sleeping? Yeah.、Um, tell us what is it like. I do love my bed. It's、uh, becoming very difficult to abandon、not、my bed、it. in the morning, huh? Not to love it. It's very difficult to not love it. Yeah, it's difficult to abandon it in the morning. I mean, you're at home, so that's nice.、Yeah. You can go. the The problem is that、uh, I also have a sofa here, so I I love like sitting either on the sofa or on the bed, but I prefer the sofa. Especially after eating, yeah. So yeah, I have like two really I, big things I can like just lie on. I nap on the sofa almost every day in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. I mean,、okay. that's a good time to like spend. That's a、yeah. good idea to spend time. I had a single bed for a long time,、uh, a lot of time, but I changed. And I, what's the past tense of buy, Veronica? Use the past tense. I bought. A new bed, a double bed. Hi, Monique. Good morning. Nice Good morning, to see、Monique. you. What's、Monique、your favorite our... object? Yeah, tell us your favorite object in your house. Describe it for us.、Um, Rose says, "Do you want to read it?" My favorite object is my clarinet. Yeah, be because... careful of your possessive,、um, Rose. My clarinet. Because I play clarinet and I love it. Yeah. Uh, Not but, but is yeah, a contradiction. Exactly. So because is for motives or reasons. Okay. So I love my clarinet because I play clarinet.、Mm-hmm. Okay. I love playing. Nice. Oh, mine just mine just sounds a bit、um, stupid now, but、um, mm-hmm. I I really like my mug. Uh, this was a present. This was my Christmas present.、Uh, I really like this mug because it has a zebra on it. Yeah. And on the back it says "Fierce by Night." Okay.、Mm-hmm. Fierce、um, is like ferocious. So think of an animal like a lion or a tiger. They are fierce. But、yeah. this mug is fantastic because when you put hot water in it. It changes. It transforms. Oh my God! Can you show、And、us? I I can't demonstrate right now, but the zebra becomes a unicorn <gasps> when I put in boiling water. The、that is so cool. Transforms to a unicorn, and the words change, and it says "fabulous by day." It's fantastic. So、oh、this is my favorite object in my house now. <laughs> That's Monique, actually、so. very pretty. My favorite object is my big mug. I also love Monique's big mug. It's a big I mean, mug. Monique's, Monique's big mug is a big mug. It's, it's like, like... A my face. Mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice.、Um, so, if you're joining us now, please write for us in the comments. Say hi. Introduce yourselves. Tell us what is your favorite object in your house. Um, Ross, how long have you been playing the clarinet? Let us know. How long have you been playing? In the meantime,、um, I'm gonna show you my favorite、oh, object、yeah. that is actually alive. So it's my orchid. Oh, it's actually a very new part of the family, but I, I don't know. I love plants, and it's you know it's blooming. That's so sweet. Yeah, love it. I have to I, very. I have to be very careful with uh, uh, nature and plants because I'm not very good. Like very honestly, and I have a potos right there, but that's, that's very、really、easy.、Nice. That's that's very easy to keep. Like, you just water it every ten days. Okay. And it's just growing. I、out. would forget. <laughs> and.、Um. Oh, that's so nice, Veronica. Thank you. <laughs>、um, 
Good. Um, four, nine. Four, yeah, four, nine years. I was trying to decide what um, was wrong, but four, nine years. Because it's a length of time for us. Mm -hmm. Four, yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, that's really amazing. Nine years playing clarinet. You must be quite good as well. Yeah. Um, okay, so again, if you're joining us now, tell us what your favorite thing is, your favorite object in your apartment, the fa your favorite possession. Yeah. And uh, let's look at our focus for today. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. So do you want to read, uh, Sahar, what we will do? In this focus activity, like, don't like, favorites, activities. Mm -hmm. Nice. So let's um, start with some verbs and different activities. We have a list of verbs on the left. Mm -hmm. So I'll read the verbs. We have listen to, read, play, cook, go, watch, and go to. Chinese food, my MP3 player, films, books, the gym, sports, shopping. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you read that as if you were going to continue. You said the gym, sport, the shopping. Gym. Uh. And then everybody was going, continue, finish oh, the I'm list. Sorry, that's it, that's it. <laughs> um, so we'll miss, we will match up the verbs that we can see on the left with the corresponding activity on the right. Um, Notice here that we have listen to and go to, okay? Um, they are always together, okay? I, um, we always say listen and go with the preposition to. Veronica says read books. Fantastic. Okay, but let's start. Okay, lesson two, exactly. My MP3 player. Wonderful. And read books. Play. Good. So remember, I'll write this down. Listen plus two and go plus two. Ninety-nine percent of the time they are together. And that one percent we will see at the next lesson. <laughs> we will avoid it for this lesson. <laughs> exactly. Um, Play sport. Nice. Is it in the United States that they say sports and sport in the in the empire? In the what? In the British Empire? There is no British Empire, Sahar. The British Empire is finished. It's over. It's done now. You would like to think so. <laughs> it's also the opposite. Sport <laughs> is American. Sports is British. Oh, um, okay. But it's not. There is no empire, Sahar. <laughs> I just finished watching a series about the British Empire and you know British the colonialism. Um, it's about an expedition that was sent to the Arctic to find a passage from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. You watched yeah. the terror. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is, yeah, that is a fantastic. Yeah, that is a fantastic TV series. I love oh my it. god, that was really good. I usually hate horror. Um, mm -hmm. I think it started as a horror and then it went more towards would you, would you call it a, would you call it don't spoil it I'm sorry. Did you um do you would you describe it as a horror no I would thriller? just like describe it more as a thriller historical thriller it's fantastic it's I love it yeah I really liked it in fact you know what I might watch it again yeah in this period yeah even though i remember like, it i remember it quite well like it really left a impression on me so mm -hmm. i remember it yeah. quite vividly i remember like i remember i just finished it but the villain is so well written that i yeah. hate it i've never hated <laughs> the villain this much yeah. since game of thrones Let's uh, see some answers. So yes, play sport, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, good, Veronica. For example, volleyball, football, baseball, tennis. Um, this is a fantastic example mm -hmm. because we use play when there is a ball in the sport. Yeah. Okay. 
if there is no bull, if it's a sport that we do with our bodies, for example, swimming, gymnastics, or with other equipment, mm -hmm. we use do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it could be do for, for example, swimming, martial arts. Martial arts. Um, what else do you do? Gymnastics. Yoga. Yoga. So anything which is with your free body or with other equipment. Uh, let's do some more. So we've got, oh, did we say cook? We've got go shopping. Good. Be careful, Ross. I prefer, prefer is that kind of verb that after we have an ing form. So I prefer listening to my mp3. Exactly. Remember, listen and to always together. Mm -hmm. um, so and we've got then watch, watch films, films and go to the gym. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Nice job, guys. Um, which, which of these activities are you doing at home in these days, Saha? I, what are you doing most often? Well, I'm cooking, well, not Chinese food. Uh, a lot of Italian food and mm. Iranian food, especially oh, nice. on Sundays. Sundays Fantastic. is the Iranian, Iranian day. day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm shopping online. <laughs> <laughs> Watching a lot of movies, um, reading books. Yeah, but I'm not listening to music nice. like at all. Oh, really? Oh, That's quite strange. Nice. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comments, which of these activities are you doing most often in these days? What about you? Um, I'm listening to a lot of music. Oh, okay. um, we all, I always have music in the background. And I am also reading a lot of books. Um, in mm -hmm. fact, now I am reading an Iranian uh, book. Um, I'm cooking a lot of food. I go shopping once or twice a week. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, like you, I am shopping online quite a bit. Um, and I'm watching films, um, not very often, um, maybe one or two films a week, not a lot of films. I, um, and I'm not watching TV series. Mm -hmm. Not You're not watching TV series? No, I'm not. I'm just seeing Veronica's. I cleaned the whole house on Friday. So today is cleaning day. Oh, oh wow. House. my cleaning day is sunday yeah, yeah. when is your cleaning same, day yeah same. Sunday. Cleaning day is sunday um no i'm not watching tv series because i don't i don't want to get into the habit of just watching tv all day mm -hmm. so i try to stay active so i'm trying to read to do puzzles to talk to my friends you know do active things and then yeah. in the evening maybe i will watch a film because if I start a TV series... Oh, you want to binge watch it. Exactly. I will abandon everything and I will only watch this TV series. So I'm trying mm -hmm. to avoid this and to a keep very, my mind active. A very bad habit that I have is that when I do like things, for example, solving puzzles, I need to have a background noise. Mm -hmm. So I always watch like, you know, those 20 minutes TV series, such as Friends. And you just so, have it on in the yeah, background. Yeah, I just have it on because otherwise yeah. I'm just, you know. Well, this is why I have music on in the background mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, so let us know in the comments, which of these activities do you do most often? And um, let's go on to, do you like? Okay. Do you want to read it, Saha? Of course. Yeah. Do you like listening to music, reading books, watching TV, cooking, going to the cinema, playing sports, meeting friends? Do you like music, books, Mexican food, films, sport, TV, yeah. skiing? So as you can see from these ex examples, uh, when we use words like like, love, prefer, we either use a noun. So for example, do you like music? Or we use the ING form. I do you like listening to music. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm watching The Handmaid's Tale with my mum every day, one episode. Oh, that's really nice, Veronica. Be careful of your present continuous. I am watching. Mm. Remember, um, always the continuous form. It's impossible not to have it with the verb to be in yeah. any form. So you need three words. I am having. I am watching. Even um, that's nice. So you've um, you've got it very controlled. Uh, yes, you have your. It's under control every yeah. day, one episode. That's nice. Yeah. Go on. Um, I want to read The Handmaid's Tale before I watch it. Yeah. I, would, I want to read it first. So um, we can ask each other questions using these sentences, uh, mm -hmm. using these examples. And you can ask us questions. Exactly. Um, so do you like cooking, Saha? Oh, I love cooking. Oh, really? Yeah. One of my favorite things is uh, finding recipes and trying something new. Mm, Even though happened. I'm always afraid of making a mistake and destroying everything and wasting food, mm -hmm. but it's always nice to try things out. Yeah, absolutely. And then if it works well, then you mm -hmm. can make it again. Exactly. And if not, you can learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. What about you, uh, Sophia? Do you like... Hold plain... on, let me see. Oh, okay. oh, I like food. <laughs> I like all food from all the world. I like Chinese food, Greek food, Indian food. That's fantastic. Do you like Persian food? <laughs> Important question, Important Veronica. Question. There, is, there is only one correct answer. <laughs> Do you uh, like Sophia? Is this a question for Sahar? <laughs> <laughs> Do I like Sophia? I think she's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. Yeah. I think like she wanted to ask, what kind of music do you like, Sophia? Okay, um, so what kind of music do I like? I like rock music and I like electronic music. Really? Yeah. I would have but never mostly, said that. Yeah, but in this period, mostly I am listening to rock music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of music do you like, Veronica? Tell me in the comments, what kind of music do you like? Um, sorry, Saha, what were you going to ask? Do I like playing sport? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> laughing at Veronica's answer. Um, do I like playing sport? Not really. I'm not a big fan of playing sports. I like exercising. Mm -hmm. um, my, my hobby is dancing. So mm -hmm. I like dancing, I like doing exercise, but I don't like playing sports with like yeah. team ball and no it's too stressful do you uh -huh. like playing sports i do actually i prefer yeah. doing sports more than exercising probably oh, okay yeah right. the op because i used to play volleyball in mm. in iran and i was like the youngest of the of the group yeah but it was so fun i loved it, I nice. missed it. yeah that's excellent veronica i like pop music very nice Mm -hmm. um, do you like, um, no, I'm trying to think of something different. Do you like watching, or rather, what do you like watching on television? Oh, hold on. So Ross has a question. What is skiing? When uh, it is snowing on the mountains and you can like phew, go skiing. Yeah, you have like the activity your... you do on the mountains. Exactly. Very yeah. common. You have your two sticks and you're going like this. Mm. My favorite activity to do on the mountains is going to the spa. Mm -hmm. Yes, me too. Um, Ross, be careful of, again, your ing and to. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Ross, have a look at the right. Listening to music okay so mm -hmm. be careful of these um so we've got two questions saha this is your question from veronica what tv series do you watch and so this is, is my question from veronica uh, veronica again be careful after like we use ink do you like reading mm -hmm. exactly 
So the TV series that I watch are usually uh, historical or mostly thriller-like, thr thriller-based. Mm -hmm. And I also love comedies, but mm -hmm. in the background. I'm not going to sit there and watch, like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? I just, like, you know, let it play. stay there. Yeah, let it play. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. um, I like reading, I like reading all sorts of books, especially dramas. Um, oh. Dramas I like reading in particular. So, um, and I read in i read greek books i read italian books and english books i try to alternate so i will read one english one italian one greek and change language oh, each that's time good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it's difficult especially with greek because it's difficult to find greek books because mm. um, you cannot get the greek language on kindle and also amazon doesn't have greek books so it's very difficult to find them sometimes yeah um, Usually, I when I visit my family in Greece, I bring books in my. You suitcase. import Greek. Books. I import Greek books in my suitcase. I have this little mule um, yeah. situation going on. I um, also do the same, but I don't really yeah. like. Yeah, I don't even buy them. I just see them on my grandma's library, and oh, yeah. she's already read. I'm like, can I? And yeah, no, I don't. I don't buy them. I borrow them from my mum. Um, I take them oh. from my mum. Uh, yeah, borrow. I take them from my mum's bookshelf and I put them in my suitcase and I import them. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I I want to find a way to um, to have Greek books here. Like, what's online. your favorite oh. book? Me? Yeah. If you can think of one book that you will read over and over again, what would I, it be? I, it's difficult to it's difficult to think of it now off the top of my head mm. it's difficult to think of one mm. um shall we go on yeah let's go okay so we're talking about our favorites okay uh like in the example what's your favorite film yeah what's your favorite uh my favorite film is titanic or who is your favorite actress my favorite actress is kate winslet Interesting choice. I don't know if I'd choose Kate Winslet. But... Oh, I didn't choose that. I'm just reading. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, so we've got some different words. We have footballer, singer, band, colour and sport. Mm -hmm. And do you want to read the others? Food, actor, restaurant, day of the week, song. So you can tell us what are your favourites and also ask us questions. Mm -hmm. I would say that my favourite film is Bridget Jones. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, seriously. Like that's my go-to movie when I'm depressed. Like that, that's the movie I want to see when I like want to eat ice cream and cry. Oh my god, yeah. that's so funny. Yeah, um, I love it. Um, I think my go-to film is um it's probably lord of the rings like i've watched it so <laughs> many times and it's you know when you're when you're sick when you're ill and you have and you just want to like you said you just want to lie on the sofa and mm -hmm. be ill and yeah. lord of the rings i just <laughs> be ill. Again and, again and again yeah so it's probably my favorite film oh no like i also like um yeah, for example, the X Men or you know Marvel movies, so mm. kind of like, mm, kind of like that. But it's just you know, it Bridget Jones makes me feel better because like she had her life. Her life was a mess. Do you <laughs> identify with that? Sometimes. <laughs> um, what? Who is your favorite singer or band? I don't have like a favorite because again, I'm not really into music. Mm -hmm. I would say Queen, okay. but it's just, you know, like everyone's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Veronica says, I've been um, to Greece in Athens and Islands too, like Polegandro, Santorini, and Zaikinto. Nice. Yeah, Zaikinto is like um, Italian. 
Corfu and Zaikintho are just like Italian, <laughs> Italian hotspots. Abroad. Italian colonies. Yeah, exactly. They're basically Italian colonies. I've never been to those islands. Um, but yeah, I go to Greece every year. I lived in Athens for five years and um, mm -hmm. I visit different islands in the summer. Oh, that's nice. Uh, my favorite film, um, yeah, probably Lord of the Rings. What is your favorite film, Veronica and Ross? What is your favorite film? Mm -hmm. uh, Ross has a question. What is a footballer? Um, uh, another word for a footballer. Go on, Saha. Yeah, footballer is the athlete, the person who plays football. Exactly. So the football player. So... For example, uh, Paul, Messi, Messi, Ronaldo, Totti, okay. Buffon. Yeah. In general, yeah. when we add er in English, it means the person who does it. Mm -hmm. Okay. In general, when we have plus er, it means the person who does this job. So, for example, teacher. Sahara, exactly. Sahara and I teach. We are teachers. Mm -hmm. Um, or a person who um, drives a bus, for example, if you drive a bus, you are driver. a driver, okay? So it's very common in English to add ER to the end of a verb and make it into a profession. So football, footballer. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this, um, this is a good one. Oh, yeah, with Harrison Ford. Nice. I love and she her. also says, I like Marvel movies. My, my favorite hero is Thor. Nice. I Ross, love what's your favorite Thor. film? Yeah, what Go is my to... favorite film? Um, no, I love Thor when it's directed by Taika Waititi. And mm -hmm. I just, he is the most hilarious uh i don't know director comedian i've ever found i, <laughs> I don't really watch marvel what <gasps> about no i don't i don't like superhero films oh. <laughs> oh, i i don't like superhero films i um i i watched batman and super and spider-man but that was it which spider-man um the p the ones with um tony Maguire. oh the worst ones no, come on, they were cute. I hate Toby Maguire. No, come on. I just like him in The Great Gatsby. <laughs> yes, Ross, football player is correct. Football player or footballer, it's the mm -hmm. same. Yeah. Um, yeah, mm. no. Um, and I, So, yeah, I watched The Batman with Christian Bale and The Spider-Man with Tony Ooh, That's a good Batman. That's not even a superhero movie. Like, Batman with uh, Christian Bale is one of, like, the most iconic movies. Yeah, it's true. Because yeah, of maybe, Christian Bale. Yeah, and Heath Ledger as well. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I get excited. Yeah, yeah, let's not talk yeah. about Heath Ledger. Um, <laughs> What is your favorite? So, who is your favorite actor? Harrison Ford. Oh, really? Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones. That is an interesting choice. Just because he's hot. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, hot uh, is attractive. In case uh, that is a new word. <laughs> hot in this case, if we use for a person, uh, it means attractive. Yeah, attractive. Oh God, maybe so. My favorite attractive person is Harrison Ford in his youth, but my favorite actor, as in I love the way he or she acts. Gotta think about that. Um, I quite like um, Tom Hanks. I think he is a very, very good actor. He's mm -hmm. very talented, very flexible as an yeah. actor. I really like uh, Tom Hanks. Like, I don't think he is attractive, but I think he is a very talented actor. What's the name of the guy from Twilight, Ed? Who was Robert Edward? Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. I think he's a very good actor. 
Really? Right. He's amazing. He's like one of those uh, chameleon, no, camel, chame, chame, chameleon. Chameleon. chameleon, yeah. I like Spider Man in the universe. Nice. The cartoon. Do you know it? Yeah, so it's amazing. It's beautiful. Definitely oh. watch it. Nice. And my favorite actor is Johnny Depp. Nice. <laughs> in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, what about actress? Who is your favorite actress? Meryl Streep, no doubt. Oh, yeah. The, our queen, Meryl Streep. Absolutely. Yeah. She, she, is could, she could play Batman and she would she be could, good at it. She could go into politics and become like empress of the world. I would follow that woman. Me too. Yeah. I would she follow could be her empress anyway. of Iran. I'm just like, yes, please. She could be empress of the whole world. I don't care. I, yeah. I would be behind her 100%. She's fantastic. Yeah. Um, what else should we ask? Should we talk about food? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. What's your favorite food? My favorite? OK, so it really depends. On your mood. Yeah, it really depends on my mood. And if it's Italian food, I when I go to the restaurants, I usually order always the same things. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm the same. So, which is Shelly either Gerard, uh, yeah. in Mad Max, she's fantastic. Oh, yeah, she's very good. But anyway, it's uh, either the tagliatelle al ragù mm -hmm. or the cotoletta alla bolognese. But this is okay. only Italian food. All right, and yeah. I have the repertoire of Iranian food. <laughs> um, nice, we won't go into the repertoire of Iranian food. <laughs> <laughs> what about yours? Um, I eat anything, um, but I think when I go to, when I want to go to a restaurant, I like to have junk food. So I'm, I don't know if, pe in when you are in Italy, pizza isn't junk food. But no, pizza is. Pizza light. and ham, yeah, ha pizza and hamburgers. I know it sounds very simple and very basic and very American, and I'm not American, but That's hamburgers clear. Hamburgers and pizza are my favorite food. Mm. Um, oh, Veronica says, I've never tasted Iranian food. <gasps> <gasps> oh no, Veronica, you have triggered Sahar. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm dying inside. <laughs> um, I would say the only, like, one problem with, but like my problem with Iranian food is what? that everything tends to be lamb like you don't eat much beef and you don't eat pork so oh, no, everything is pork. usually based the meat is usually lamb yes not necessarily no um, whenever, we have I, yeah it's usually been lamb when i've had iranian food so um that's we have i don't like lamb. certain foods that only go with lamb but those are like rice and lamb not the stew we i don't we don't really do that much stew with lamb it's usually like beef mm. or chicken yeah yeah but it's but you should you should try it veronica it's very tasty yeah. should i go on to the next slide let's go on yeah okay. um oh here we go it's we're just putting everything together again <laughs> but don't worry still... about pork like it just no, because she says uh she likes pork too me too, but I prefer pork in Italian cuisine. Mm. It For example, makes... like sausages. Uh, not, not no, not necessarily sausages. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> For example, bacon. Well, in hamburgers, so that doesn't really make it uh, Italian. Like um, ham, and carbonara and things. Ham, yeah, carbonara, matriciana, and uh, uh, costolette di maiale, for example. Yeah, uh, so ribs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ribs. <laughs> ribs. Or just, um, yeah, no, like I remember I have a friend from uh, Cagliari. Mm. I don't think she's exactly from Cagliari, but she's from Sardinia. And they eat a lot of pork there. They have maialetto. 
and she didn't really know that how, how Muslim I was at the beginning. So basically she asked another of my friends, so is Sahar like, you know, seriously Muslim or is she just kidding? And uh, <laughs> she was, my friend was like, no, no, it's fine. She can eat pork, don't worry. And then when I get there, I'm like, oh, you made pork? I can't oh, eat no. that. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you were joking, you eat pork. <laughs> I love that joke. Um, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> um, Veronica says, my favorite Italian food is pasta al pesto. Interesting. Do you um, make pesto? Do you make it? Yeah, because I, I spent my entire first year in Italy. The first year in Italy, I was a student and I was poor. So I, for <laughs> one entire year, I ate only pasta al pesto. Um, so now the result is I cannot eat it. Oh like, no. I cannot eat pasta al pesto. But the other problem is that I actually only ever ate the pesto from the supermarket. I've never had homemade pesto. And people have told me that homemade pesto is completely different oh, it from is. the supermarket pesto, that it's much, much better. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't think I will ever eat it again. <laughs> You can try other kinds of pesto. Yeah, like definitely. Coke, uh, pesto. The maialetto is very nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. <laughs> yeah, some I I don't know. I am. It's a strange situation. Like I feel bad eating pig because I know how intelligent they are. But on the other hand, I cannot stop eating bacon. Oh, that's like no one. I can't. <laughs> no one can. Bacon. It's, like, <laughs> it's a my dilemma, my moral dilemma. Yeah, it's. I remember my friend is uh, Turkish, and she had her first bacon experience with me, and she's like, "Well, will I will I like it?" And but it's you know it's it's pork. I don't I don't really like or like just try it. It doesn't yeah. feel like pork. It feels like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and did she like it? She loved it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You led her astray. Exactly. In Sardinia, it is the king of the kitchen. <laughs> the Mayaletto. Nice. Again, mm -hmm. Ros, be careful. It is the king. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, no, I can't say it that, that many times I love pork, otherwise. <laughs> How often can we say it? <laughs> Let's talk about some other things. Oh, what about restaurants? What is your favorite restaurant? Oh, I have also a repertoire of restaurants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, let's see um, what Veronica says. My, My mom, mom makes the moussaka. It's not so great like the Greek moussaka, but it's great. Yeah. Um, the attention my the third person Veronica. My mom makes moussaka. Oh, sorry, moussaka. It's not so great. Mm. Um, you can say uh, maybe you haven't done this yet with comparatives. It's not as great as the Greek moussaka. Okay, have a look. Here. It's not as great as exactly. Greek my mother is Greek and she makes such a good moussaka. Like mm -hmm. it's it's fantastic. Um it's she only makes it in the summer because uh -huh. in the summer it's a summer dish because it has aubergines in it. Really? And, uh, traditionally in Greece, aubergines are a summer vegetable. So but it is just heavenly and I need to learn how to make it. I think maybe moussaka is my favorite dish, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your favorite restaurant? Uh, in Bologna, my favorite restaurant is a hamburger restaurant, an American restaurant called Hamerica's. Uh, I don't oh, know wow, if you have good. it. It's, they have a few in the north of Italy. They have it mm -hmm. also in Milan, in Turin. I don't know if they have it in um, if further in the south, like in Rome, I don't think so. But Hamerica's is my favorite restaurant in Bologna. If you like burgers, you should also try always in Bologna, 
well done. Okay. Um, it's very good. What is it? There are two, one behind the train station and one in the city center. Okay. Um, I'll try it as well. I haven't uh, heard of this. No, my favorite restaurant and said I love Osterias, uh, like mm. my favorite thing. And I would say that my favorite uh, out of all of them is um, Osteria Al Ragno in uh, okay. yeah, yeah in uh, Bologna. And mm -hmm. the speciality of this restaurant is truffles. Ooh, and nice. I've tried Cotoletta alla Bolognese with truffles. Um, Amazing. <laughs> Let us know also in the comments, what is your favorite restaurant in your town and what is their speciality? Okay, so mm -hmm. what is your favorite restaurant and what do you eat, eat there in particular? Mm -hmm. um, what else? I don't really often go to eat Italian food out. I should go more often to eat Italian food. I think in Bologna, it's the best thing. Yeah, because um, the, it's the city of well, it's the city, it's the region of pasta fresca and um, cheese you know. and ham. Yeah. yeah, I like going to. It's quite a touristy thing to do, but I still like it. I like going to have the um, the tagliere. So you've got a platter with different cheese and mm -hmm. prosciutto and different um, meats and things. So I just, I also like having an aperitif and going and having one of these platters with different cheese. Yeah. With a glass of wine or a glass of beer. Oh, no, I love uh, in Verona because I lived in Verona for six years. And still, my I don't have a favorite restaurant there because I usually have spritz and aperitivo. <laughs> Which no, is also very like touristy thing, but mm. I don't know, it's still the best. It's so nice. Veronica says, I like American diner in Florence. I imagine that this is similar to America's. It is an American restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, be careful of your article, Verona, an American restaurant. Yeah, I imagine it's similar to American graffiti in mm -hmm. um, Bologna. Yeah. Oh, in the United, you would love the United States because we have so many fast foods mm. that basically like McDonald's is nothing compared to it. Yeah. So one thing, one of them that I really love and currently is just in Nevada and California and it's in and out. Okay. It has one of the best burgers I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> Like, Do you go to the States often? Last time I went there was, I think, five years ago. And I wanted to go also this year to visit my cousin who's getting married. But the but corona yeah. happened. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see Veronica's answer. She says, I like hearing, is this Grieve or Greve? Greve. Greve, Le Logge. It is a restaurant in the main square of Greve. Nice. Where is Greve? The speciality of this restaurant is meat and main dishes. Nice. As she said, I think it's in the province of Chianti. Yeah, but where is, which region is it in? Uh, Tuscany. It is in Tuscany. Okay, nice. <laughs> Um, okay, so guys, we only have one minute left of our Ooh. webinar. So if you have any questions or if you want to write any more answers, uh, now is your opportunity. Um, let's go over a few things that we looked at today. Um, be careful, please, of... I'm trying to find my notes from before. For example, one of the things that we looked at was using the verb like. Mm -hmm. prefer, hate, and adding the verb in ing. So yes. I like going to the cinema. I love eating at the restaurant. Okay, so remember to use ing form. Another, Another thing. Yeah, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to 
say about the ER. So another thing we talked about was adding ER to a verb, and this would make it into a noun, so the person who does it. So we talked about football, footballer, mm -hmm. or football player, uh, teach, teacher, drive, driver. So we take, we add ER and make it into a profession. Yes. Exactly. Uh, Another one was uh, the preposition with some verbs. So to listen, always to. To listen to music, to listen to the news, and go to. Exactly. Go to is 99% always go to. That 1%, we will see next time. <laughs> In the All next right, episode. Guys. Um, so, I think we can finish there. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see you guys soon. See you guys. Bye-bye.